Let's add a custom boss bar to our entity. More in-depth topics for Minecraft modding available in the 121 modding courses linked below, covering writable and tameable entities, custom entity armor, and even custom entity inventories, among many more awesome topics. Alright, fans, back and tell you once more. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding a custom boss bar to our entity. So this is gonna be our triceratops. And the idea is that while this is not going to be sort of an extensive tutorial, as you can see by the length, that's going to add like a whole host of different things to a to a boss, right? We're not going to really make a full boss. I'll basically show you the first seeds that you need to actually make a boss. When it comes to anything like custom goals and, you know, custom attack patterns, things like that, you will need to check that out for yourself. So there, I basically recommend number one, GitHub repositories of other mods, obviously, as well as vanilla. Vanilla is like the best place to look at and... Also, obviously, I think at this point, like when it comes to like actual bosses, like implementing an actual boss, I think advanced Java is probably sort of a prerequisite. Like even with intermediate Java, it's going to be quite difficult. Regardless, first of all, the boss bar. So this is going to be a private final server boss event. I'm going to call this the boss event equal to a new server boss event passing in component that literal in this case and there's just going to be the name. So let's call it our pool Triceratops. There we go. After the first closing parenthesis, we then want to choose the bar, the boss color, uh, boss bar color. So boss bar color, you can see blue, green, pink, red, purple, white, yellow. Let's do a, let's do a white. That's going to be okay. And then we can also determine how many notches it has. Let's do 12. How much has, does it have 30? Uh, let's do a 20. 20 notches, that's going to be okay. And that is the first step over here, the boss event. And then we're going to go all the way down. I'm going to make sort of a new section over here. This is going to be the boss bar. And here we simply need to override three different methods. The way that it works is you will understand it quite soon. So this is a start scene by player overridden, the stop scene by player overridden, and then the AI step methods. The start scene by player Basically, I mean, it should be kind of obvious when this is called, when a certain player sees this particular entity. And then we're just going to say this that boss event that add player, and then adding the player that has just seen this entity. Similarly, when there are stop scene, this that boss event dot remove player, and then we're going to remove the player from that particular event. And in the AI step event, we're simply going to say this that boss event that set progress is going to be equal to this dot get health is divided by this dot get max health. Idea here being that the progress is obviously dependent of the boss event on how much health that this individual entity has uh, divided by the max health, right? So obviously if it has zero health, then obviously the progress is done, right? So we're, we're through and the progress is going to be zero because then the health bar is going to be zero. That's the idea. And that is pretty much all we need. Literally these three methods as well as the boss event right here. And that is pretty much all we need. Now, of course, what you can do is press shift twice. And let's say, for example, look into the wither over here. Wither, let's go to the wither boss. And you will find, for example, there is a boss event here too. And it's going to be used in all sorts of different um, moments over here. You can even see there's some goals here. I highly recommend to basically do exactly this and to check out vanilla for basically any other addition you might also want to have for your entity. In this case, obviously, it doesn't really make a lot of sense that the Triceratops here has the boss event, but this is just to illustrate and how you could basically add this. With that done, let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, I'm like in Minecraft. As you can see, our cool Triceratops over here is like we have got four events. And if I were to hit the one that I've already hit, okay, this is one that is not actually shown up because there's so many. You can only have so many events, but you can see this one. There we go. And if I were to hit it a couple more times... There we go. And now it is gone and it is filled up with one of the other ones because like I said, there's so many of them that we basically have like way too many, but let's just go away. And at some point when they're no longer seen, right, you can see as we're moving away. And then of course there's new ones over here. But yeah, the general idea is that, you know, we can then hit them and we can see that that is basically, well, changes the boss bar to whatever it needs to be. Absolutely fantastic. And that is a custom boss bar added to an entity. Awesome. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom chair. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.